Hey everybody, back with a quick look at a lot that I picked up. It's a lot of 96-97 Flare Showcase NBA stuff. Yes, I'm still working on this set. I just kind of work on it like every now and then whenever I feel like it. Like I'll pick up some stuff here and there and then I'll go months without even looking up any of the cards I need. But found this lot on eBay and it's a really good lot because it had a bunch of cards in it. I hate when I'm looking up lots and you only see like a bunch of 10 card lots because that doesn't really help. Now this card had a bunch of row 2 and row 1 stuff. I know for sure I don't need any of these row 2 cards because I already completed that portion of the set. But as I've said before, I don't mind having doubles of any of the cards in this set because it's such a great looking set. So I'll find some place to put these doubles. That's a Kerry Kittles rookie. Mitch Richmond. Yeah, these are all row twos. What was that? That's a nice Allen Houston, so I can put that with my Nick stuff. But yeah, there was also some row one stuff in here, which I do need some of those. I haven't checked yet to see how many of these I need. So these are what the row ones look like. Just a slightly different design, but again, just beautiful looking cards. They don't really come off so great in these penny sleeves There's another row two nice Carl Malone but yeah there were no row zero cards in this set which or in this lot which those are the toughest ones to pull but I did buy some row zero cards separately which I'll also show in this video Alonzo Mourning Glenn Rice and that's one of the things I really like about this set is as a lot of the uh, really good players from that era like there aren't too many like bench players or guys that nobody remembers. Like if you were following the NBA during this time, you remember all these guys. Crew coach, that's a Marcus Camby rookie. So again, I need to look at my checklist, see which ones of these I'm missing. He made some notes on the box here, but I can't quite understand what he was doing there. It's funny because we all have like our own methods of doing a checklist or putting a set together, but Sometimes we don't understand each other's methods. So again, I'll just look at my checklist or I'll just look at the missing spaces in my binder. But again, just to look at a few more of those. So let me get to the row zero cards that I picked up. All right, so a few of these I had actually picked up months ago, but couldn't remember if I showed them in a video or not. This was the most recent one I picked up, the Carl Malone. I actually got this in a Carl Malone lot, which was a pretty cool lot. It had some Carl Malone inserts and had this in there. So when I saw that in there, I wanted to get it just for that one. I ended up paying less for the lot than what people try to sell this card for alone. This part of the set is kind of weird because, like I said, these are the toughest ones to get and the most expensive ones. But some people get kind of ridiculous with the prices on some of them because... They aren't like super short printed or anything, but sometimes you see them at really good deals and sometimes you see them way overpriced. And these next two other ones that I've been here for a really long time, again, just couldn't remember if I had made a video for these or not because they were just up on some boxes up there. So since I hadn't put them away yet, I didn't know if I had shown them or not. But even if I did, they're worth looking at again. So this is the Iverson row zero rookie this is one of the ones that I actually got on a really good deal because I have these on my eBay email notification list so anytime somebody lists one of these I get an email and saw that somebody listed this for like 12 bucks which is an amazing price people usually sell these for like two or three times that amount so very happy to knock that one off the list as well as this one. This one I'm really happy I picked up back when I did. I picked this up like months ago. It's the Kobe Bryant Row Zero Rookie. Rest in peace to Kobe. So yeah, back when I picked this up, I felt like I might have overpaid for it a bit. But I'm glad I picked it up then because I probably have to pay like double the amount now. But again, this was one I was chasing for the longest because it was always kind of expensive. And I had gotten outbid on a few of them. And... Some of the buy it nows were really high, so just kept keeping my eye on them and finally pulled the trigger on this one. Can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I know it was triple digits. 
And I just remember when I bought it, I felt like I overpaid a bit, but it was worth it. And again, in hindsight, it was definitely worth it because would really struggle to pick that one up now. But very happy to knock that one off the checklist. I think I'm actually closer to finishing the row zero portion than I am the row one portion. But yeah, those were some decent pickups for that part of the set there. Actually, let's go take these to the binder. So there's the Allen Iverson rookie in its new home. And a few pages over, there's the Malone and the Kobe. I'm sure some people will cringe at this, like most people will not put a card of that value into a binder page, but I'm not going to grade it or try to flip it or anything like that. It's part of my set and that's where it's going to stay permanently. And I also already put in the cards I needed from the lot that I picked up, all the row one cards that I needed. I'm recording this hours after I recorded the first part, so I already took the time to look through my checklist and find the ones I needed. So yeah, I ended up needing 27 cards from the lot that I picked up, so I would say that's pretty good. That worked out pretty well for me. I'm happy with that number. As you see, there's still some cards missing here and there, but little by little we'll get it done. Like I said, the row 2 portion of the set is already complete, so I still need a few more for row 1 and for row 0. But yeah, that's going to do it for this little flare showcase set update of sorts so talk to you guys later